It was on this road in London that British MP George Galloway was violently assaulted on Friday. The alleged attacker was wearing an Israel Defence Force t-shirt. He had posted angry messages about Islam and Galloway in the days leading up to the incident. In his first interview since then, it's clear that George Galloway is still in pain. He has a cracked rib and his jaw was dislocated. It's an attack on Parliament, it's an attack on democracy, and it's a, an attack on my constituents, not just the geographic constituency of Bradford West, though it is, um, but the wider constituency that I speak for, which is, by anybody's reckoning, some millions of people, all of whom have the right to be represented, all of whom have a right to have their view represented, without it being clubbed down in the street. George Galloway is a six-time elected MP with a political career spanning over four decades. He says he's surprised at the silence of Westminster over the attack. Now we're always hearing about uh, Muslim extremists. I just ask you this question. If a Muslim fanatic supporter of Hamas had attacked, say, a pro-Israel MP on the streets of London, uh, would this story now be uh, rather bigger than the story about the attack on me? The police arrested a 39-year-old man in connection with the attack. He appeared in court on Monday. Appearing here at the Hammersmith Magistrates Court, Neil Masterson pleaded not guilty to the religiously motivated attack on MP George Galloway. He has been denied bail and the case has been sent to the Crown Court. The next hearing will be on September 15th. Nagas Mubalari, Press TV, London.